Good morning guys. Happy Thanksgiving. So thankful. I'm so thankful. So thankful to have y'all. And so thankful that I have so much love and support from y'all and the constant love and comments that y'all leave on my channel. It like brings tears to my eyes when I read it. I like love it. It's about 9 in the morning. I gotta start cooking. First I'm gonna make some coffee. Eat a light breakfast so that we're extra hungry later. But yeah, I'm so thankful for y'all. I'm so thankful to have everybody who's in my life right now. I'm so thankful to be alive, so thankful to be passing nursing school, but I want to just thank y'all for the constant support for everyone. Thank you for all my 525 subscribers. It means the world to me. So let's get started. I'm going to make some coffee, like breakfast, and then we're going to start cooking. To start off with the macaroni, what we're going to need is, let me turn on the fan so I can get prepared for cooking. I'm making the easiest mac and cheese you'll ever make and it's delicious well we'll see if it's gonna be delicious cuz okay so I called my mom cuz whatever we I talked to her like 20 times a day and then I'm trying to set you down where do I set you down I feel like I'm missing something so yeah I called her and then she's like oh well your sisters make mac and cheese too and I was like oh well and then she's like what well, cheeses are you using and I was like what cheeses so I was just using Velveeta cheese. Which is all about cheese using several different cheeses. But I didn't even get Velveeta. I got the Great Valley knockoff Velveeta cheese. So we'll see if this is good. I mean, it's the same thing, right? It shouldn't be that bad. But yeah, I'm making easy mac and cheese. I'm not trying to make it like homemade with different cheeses, blah, blah, blah. But we're going to make a jalapeno bacon mac and cheese. So what you're going to need, cheese. Any kind of cheese, however you want to do your cheese form. Cheese, um, elbow pasta, bacon, jalapeno bacon. My fiance opened this already, but jalapeno bacon, any kind of bacon, whatever you want. Onion, jalapenos, and then for my seasonings, I'm going to use some of this Crayola, Crayola, Crayoli, Tony seasoning. And then you're going to need milk for the cheese, of course, but yeah. That's all I'm using. Oh, bread breadcrumbs. I'm gonna put some seasoned breadcrumbs on top and some plain breadcrumbs. Mix it up. And yeah, that's what we're doing. I'm gonna start right now. I'm still trying to make my breakfast. I'm really heating up the pasta. And then after, we'll make the cornbread and I'll show you what I'm doing. And to make the, I'm telling you this, cornbread is delicious, easy. I'm not saying it's homemade, but it's easy and delicious. That's what matters, right? Easy and delicious. First things first, we're putting on our glove. I'm heat up my pan so it's nice and hot to cut our jalapenos because I've there's been countless of times when I cut a jalapeno and my fingers burn. So we're gonna be smart today. So I should put this glove on this other hand so that This hand will be holding my jalapeno. I have one jalapeno. I don't know if I'm gonna do two. Like how spicy should I make it? Like I don't want it too spicy, I just want a hint of jalapeno. Let's scoop out the seed. You don't realize how much jalapeno juice you get on your so. And then I'm gonna be doing my makeup later. I do not want to be having jalapeno. This is on me. So I'm gonna cut everything up and then I'll show you how it looks. So I'm cooking my bacon in bigger pieces and then I'm gonna cut it up a little bit later. I'm making, probably gonna make more bacon than this. Now we're gonna wash the dishes. I already have the onions, jalapenos. Cut, my water is boiling. I was gonna cut the bacon into smaller pieces, but I don't know, bigger pieces are easier because then you can just flip it easier. I don't know, I'm trying to make my life easy today. Um, Ooh, let's put our noodles in our pasta. I'm just waiting for my water to warm up. Let's put a little bit of soap. Oh, I have you right there. Okay, I don't know how much pasta to use. I bought a two pound box, but I don't think I'm gonna make two pounds of macaroni. Okay, I'll use, I'll use like half the box. 
and that's probably too much macaroni, but oh well. We don't measure in this house, that's for sure. Guys, I think I'm just gonna cook all my bacon. I just have this much left. I want it to be really bacony, so I'm just gonna cook all of it. I'm gonna empty some of this grease into a cup so that we'll save it for later for when we start cooking our onion and jalapeno. I still haven't started it because I'm trying to cook all this bacon, but um, I'm gonna start my cornbread right now. Might as well. I don't know why I'm trying to wait until after the macaroni's done. Okay, so our cornbread is really easy. I use Dave's famous Dave's cornbread mix, the best cornbread mix that you can buy in the box. I'm telling you, so good. And you can lie and say it's homemade, but um, I'm telling the truth. It's Dave's, and it's super easy to make. All you need is milk, water, and one egg. Ugh, I'm using whole milk because I like want it to be more like good. I usually use almond milk, but I don't know. I'm using milk for the macaroni, so I might as well use it for this. So you need one third cup. Oh wait, first I'm making two boxes of it because it's so good. Okay, whatever. That's hard to open. So one third cup of milk, and I'm gonna make two batches of it so I'm gonna do two of the one thirds one third cup two well one third cup of water but I'm adding two boxes to this and then two eggs well one egg for each box so. what the hell I want to crack two eggs sorry mixture for some reason I thought you needed oil but you don't you just need milk egg and water super easy and then you want to whisk it with a fork until moistened do not over mix that's the key do not over mix because then I don't know that's just what the directions say so we're gonna place okay why did I oh there we go one my Tia Priscilla brought cornbread once for Thanksgiving when I was visiting and oh my god it was such a hit everyone ate it fast so ever since then I make cornbread now still underdone so mix mix dang I'm like Betty Crocker the blue leg Betty Crocker since none of it's homemade the thing is you have to just add it to your thing like it doesn't have to be homemade well I guess for Thanksgiving you can go the extra mile but like, why stress yourself out? If you can make box mac and cheese bomb, then do it. And then you can like show people. Like, oh hey, yeah, just to let you know that's box mac and cheese. That's Velveeta cheese that I'm using. This is box cornbread. So I'm putting the mix into, let's say, use a two pan and scoop into paper lined muffin cup. My oil. I'm gonna make two, so this is two batches, so I'm gonna pour half of it, maybe all of it, into, because it, it says an 8x10, but I didn't use an 8x10. I want to make it too thick because then it's going to be harder to cook, but I should have because now it's going to be super thin. Why do I want to eat it? I'm probably going to get salamilla. Salamanilla. Um, cornbread mixes next. And let's see, 23 to 26 minutes. I don't know because I have them in smaller things. So we'll do it for 20 minutes. Oh, oh shoot. I think our pasta is done. Mm, yeah, it's done. Let me take my bacon off of the stove. I didn't cook it fully because we're going to cut it into pieces and then cook it again with the jalapenos. Okay, let me empty my pasta. Let's add our mixture to the pan. I left some of the bacon grease in there so it can be like greasy and bacony flavor. So, 
we're gonna add our jalapeno. Onion. Onion and onion. And now I'm gonna cut up these little bacon pieces and uh, cook it with this. I added some of the bacon pieces to our jalapeno and onion mixture. I have these that I'm gonna cut and put some more once this bacon's done. And then put some on top. I have some more water. Spicy stuff now. Like jalapeno, like the pickled jalapenos. Or the one, the jalapeno that's in the juice with the carrots. What kind of jalapenos are those? I love those now for some reason. I was some carnitas. Oh, so good. Hopefully my sister-in-law has some so I can eat it with the turkey. I was probably going to upset my stomach, but I will. Okay. I'll get back to you right now. Now that this is done, it smells so freaking good. Let's add our milk. It only says for one third of milk. That's like a little bit of milk. Whatever, we'll see. One third of milk. And then we're gonna add our cheese concoction. It says it's made with real cheese, so technically I'm using real cheese. Let's open this puppy up. And this is so gross. <laughs> and add our Velveeta Great Valley cheese. I'm making the cheese mixture in a separate pan and then we'll pour it over the macaroni. If I need more milk, I'll add more milk. And our cornbread is almost done. Macaroni. I have my macaroni mixture going. We're just gonna let that get all melty. Man, I should have bought two just in case. I didn't even think about that. Like, I had a plan, but like, I didn't really plan, obviously. Now that I'm thinking about it, I didn't bother to see how much milk, cheese, how much noodles, how much cheese for each noodle packet, and all that. So we'll see if this is enough. Ooh, let me stir my noodles before those get all soggy. So yeah, let's mix this mixture together. We're almost there. And then we'll add it to our macaroni. But guys, let's try our macaroni and cheese. Let me get a spoon. I know about this. Mm -hmm. I like it. It's good, see? Why is everyone stressing with homemade cheese? It tastes just as good. Cheese dip. Is done. Cheese dip for the macaroni is done. We're gonna pour it in here. I don't know how I'm gonna set you up so that you can see me pour it. I guess like that. Hopefully I don't mess it up. Hopefully it's enough cheese. If not, then we're fit. It's not enough cheese, then well, it's not enough cheese, then oh well. Riley, you should have thought of that before you made it. This is how it's looking. Right? It looks cheesy, right? Right, guys? It looks cheesy. I'm just trying to really mix the cheese in. So that each noodle has cheese at least. Dang, yeah. I think this was way more than enough cheese. I don't know why they were like, oh, well, make, I guess if you want it more watery. Or cheesy. Okay, let's. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. It's not spicy. Well, it's a little hint of spicy. Okay, everything's done. Cornbread done. Just pulled out this yummy, this yummy mac and cheese. It looks really good. I wish I had some like parsley leaves to sprinkle on top to make it look extra fancy. <gasps> I don't know what I just dropped, but I don't. No, I don't. So now I'm just gonna clean up my mess. And then we'll take a shower and let's get glam. So guys, we're done getting ready. I put on these Allure lashes. I, oh, I have a burger. <laughs> these Allure lashes and I feel like they're gonna come off, but oh well. But let me show you my little outfit. I'm wearing this shirt that I got for Vegas. These leather pants. And I don't know if I'm gonna wear these. 
these. Let's see. Okay, guys, I don't know what shoes to wear. These. Okay. Like this. Or like this. Okay, guys, I'm just gonna go with the heels because they're more comfortable. They're like little baby heels. <sighs> and this is my outfit. I just have my violet necklace on, some earrings. I was gonna have this video uploaded by the time we left, but we're already leaving already. It's already gonna be two, so I'm not gonna upload it. But I am gonna upload it today, but later. Sorry about that. But I hope you enjoyed this video, and thank you again for all the support. I'm so grateful for y'all.